In our lesson today, we will introduce the terms average speed and average velocity. Also, we will solve some examples. To simplify the concepts, I will use a scene from a two-dimensional game to explain. If we had an object moving 4 cm on the x-axis and 3 cm on the y-axis to get to a final point, the distance crossed by the object is 7 cm. As we said in a previous video, distance is the length of the path taken, but the displacement is 5 cm at an angle of 37 degrees. As we said in a previous video, displacement is a vector quantity and we must state the direction. We want to calculate average speed. The relation for average speed is distance divided by time. To simplify the calculations, I will assume that the time taken is 10 seconds. So average speed is 7 cm divided by 10 seconds which is equal to 0.7 cm per second. Now let us calculate average velocity. Average velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. So the answer is 5 divided by 10, which is 0.5 cm per second at an angle of 37 degrees. Okay, what do these numbers mean? Average speed doesn't mean that the speed of the object was always 0.7 cm per second. The speed could be higher than that at some instances, and lower than that at other instances. However, the average of all the speeds in the path is 0.7 cm per second. We notice that average speed is a scalar quantity. It doesn't have a direction. Now let's explain further. If we had an object with constant speed of 0.7 cm per second, it will reach the final point at the same time if we use the same path as the original object. Now, if we had an object with a speed of 0.5 cm per second, and it moved on the straight line connecting the beginning and the final point, then it will reach the end at the same time as the original object. We have a little note. We usually omit the word average. When we say calculate velocity, we actually mean average velocity. The same goes for speed. We have an example. So we have a car that moved in a straight line from A to C, then from C to B in a time of 10 seconds. The first part of the question is to calculate the average velocity. First, we write the relation. Average velocity is equal to delta x over delta t. Delta x means x final minus x initial. x final is 3 meters and x initial is 0. So the equation is 3 minus 0 divided by time. Time is 10 seconds. So 3 by 10 is 0 0.3 meters per second. As we said, velocity is a vector quantity, so we have to state the direction, and the direction is to the right. The second part, average speed. Well, average speed is equal to distance divided by time. The total distance traveled by the car is the distance between A and B, and the distance between B and C, and the distance between C and B again. So that's 3 plus 4 plus 4 divided by 10. And the answer is 1.1 meters per second. We notice that there isn't a direction, because as we said earlier, average speed is a scalar quantity.